Hey guys, what's up? So welcome to another Simple Sunday tutorial. So today I'm going to show you how to make these claws right here. Okay? Isn't that awesome? And I think this is so awesome looking. And yeah. And alright, so let me take them off real quick. So yep, um, so what's good about this model is that it's very easy to fold. And it's pretty, it's very cool. And you can put it on your finger like that and it's a claw. And it's pretty sharp at this point right here. And yep, so I'm going to use an 8.5 by 11. And this is the paper you need to use. And alright, so this is printer paper right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to fold this edge to this edge right here. Okay, just like that. Try to make very precise folds. And crease sharply. Now we're gonna do is keep this folded, and now we're gonna do is we're gonna take this point and bring it to this point right here, just like this. Okay, like that. Pretty sharply. And now we're gonna do is we're gonna rotate like this. And now we're gonna do is we're gonna take this edge and bring it to this edge right here. See this edge? We're gonna bring it to that edge, but don't fold it directly next to the edge. Okay, leave a little bit of space, okay, maybe like a millimeter or two, maybe a couple millimeters is good. But yeah, just leave a little bit of space, just a hair, okay? So yeah, about like that. Okay, increase sharply. So as you can see, I left, um, see, I left a little space there, see, I left a little gap there, okay? Alright, now we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing on, on this side, so we're going to take this edge and bring it to this edge. And again, don't fold it directly next to the edge, just leave a little gap, a little bit of space. So about a couple millimeters or so. Okay, and pretty sure. Okay, so yep, yeah, again, I left a little bit of space here, about a couple millimeters. Okay, alright, now we're going to do is, um, um, we're gonna fold this over. The, the reason why we, we were leaving um, a tiny gap in between um, this is because when we fold this over, it won't interfere with the edges here. But yeah, if you fold it directly next to the edge here, it, it it'll interfere with the edges and it won't it won't be as clean looking. So yep. So all right, so we're gonna fold this up now. We're so we're folding it over the edge here. Okay, just like that. And as you can see, it doesn't interfere with the edges because there's a little bit of space in between here. Okay, and the crease is going into that, okay? So like this is what it looks like right here. Okay, just like that. All right, now we're gonna do is, let's rotate, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold the whole triangle in half. So we're gonna take this point and bring it to this point right here. And try to hold this down so that it doesn't slide on it doesn't shift or something like that. See, as you can see, it, it's kind of lifting up a little bit because it's because of these edges right here. So just hold it down, okay? And then you can take this point and bring it to this point. Okay, and make a nice sharp fold. Okay, it gets kind of thick there, so it might be a little bit tricky at first, but um, yeah, all right. And now we're gonna do is we're gonna take this edge and bring it to this crease right here. So we're going to fold it to this middle crease right here. Okay, the angle bisector. Okay, just like that. Okay, so like that. And now we're going to do is we're going to fold it over. So we're going to fold it over the edge now, so just like this. Okay. And now we're going to do is we're going to fold it over one more time. So let's do like we did before. So hold this down so it doesn't shift on you. And then you can take you can take this point right here and bring it to this point right here. Okay, just like that. Kind of need to round it off more. Okay. So yeah, it might not come to a clean point right here, but that's okay. Yeah, it's not going to come to a very clean point right here. Okay. Still, just do about as best as, as possible, okay? And you can crease sharply. And yeah, it gets kind of thick here, so it's kind of tricky to, to crease it sharply, but yeah, alright. Now, what we're gonna do is, um, 
um, we're gonna fold this down just to make it easier um, for this next step okay because this next step we're gonna tuck this point inside this um this um edge here but we're just, just to make it easier what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold this down and we're gonna align the fold with this edge right here okay don't align it like directly at the edge just make it like go up a little bit above the edge just a little bit let's see about like that maybe a couple millimeters or so okay crease sharply now it's unfolded and you can reverse that crease to make it much easier a lot easier okay and you can reclose it and then crease sharply and now let's put your finger inside this uh, slot right here and let's tuck this point inside just like that okay like that and there is your completed claw okay and if you want you can um if you want to make it look like this where it looks like it's tubular or something i rounded it off then it's very simple what you have to do is let's put your finger inside it like this and then now we can just like sculpt it to taste so we're just shaping it to taste making it round okay and i think it looks nicer like that when it's round because it looks more like a a three-dimensional claw or something a 3d claw so, yep just shape it to taste sculpt it to taste okay sculpting or shaping to taste means shape it however you want okay all right so yep looks good like that and put it on your finger yeah and oh this point is sharp <laughs> Yeah, it is good. It, it it is sharp right there. So be careful not to poke yourself hard. Okay. So all right. Well, hope you were able to fold that, and I hope you did. And um, it is a very cool model. And remember, you can make you can make four more, and then you can have a whole handful of them, or you can make nine more, and you can put it on all the rest of your fingers. And yeah. All right. Well, comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.